nice to see you give some warnings first before you find the people but one way or another they need to get the message that they need to start doing their part Go down the york way alley that would be york way and cornwall and hold on slow down okay so the trash can right on the left when we came into the alley that was done incorrectly then there's almost a half a dozen cans here with bags all hanging out so um, that's just a food source for the rats this is why the rats are continuing in the area uh, the neighbor right across the street has trash cans but no lids then we go to the next house and this person i don't know what they're doing there but uh just a ton of trash more trash here just laying on the ground lids aren't on properly bags on top of the uh, cans and beside it so in the neighborhood of eastfield stanbrook and we are um, checking on how the cans are one kid has a helmet on the other one doesn't so uh, <laughs> thank goodness some of the parents understand that the kids need to be wearing helmets so there's one can there. Uh, there's a little bit there that's open too. One, like this. one can so far. We did go in a couple of the other neighborhoods and um, this, they look like they're doing things a lot more responsibly in this community than they are in the Logan Village community. There was a lot of people over there in Logan Village that didn't have their cans properly done, which will result in a $300 fine. And we're with Charlie, who is taking us around. This is his neighborhood. Okay, so those cans were done correctly. A couple cans there that had smashed up lids. They're on top of it, but I wouldn't exactly say it was done correctly. I, I think that maybe a um, inspector might let that go, though, because they did have the lids on it. You've got about 98% compliance in this in this alley. Yeah, this is looking really good. So that's uh, another one that isn't. Trash bag sitting right there. They got some really nice cans though, but um, hard to say exactly why they put the rest of the trash out that way. Those other ones look like a lot of that was yard waste. And generally rats aren't too interested in yard waste, but uh, you know, they don't know it until they tear into it. Okay, well maybe the guys that, um, the garbage men didn't take the yard waste yesterday the way they're supposed to. That does happen sometimes. Yeah, just about everybody in this alley looks like that. Okay, there's one lid oh, yeah. open there on that can. Can you, can you position that? Okay, so this, this can right here, the lid is propped open so that would be a fine right there it's an invitation for critters to go searching and these right here in front of us are not done properly one one can is propped open the other one doesn't have a lid on it So we're going to go around the corner and look at another alley. That can is improper over here to the left. The lid is so mashed up, but they still do have the lid. Now, I can understand. It looks like a fairly new can, but the, the lid is totally mangled. Yeah, part of the problem with the metal cans, though, is that when the trash people take them off, they leave them on the ground if they can't get them back in the yard. And then people just run them over. So you... It's not realistic to think that people can go out and buy trash can lids every other week. Things are looking really good in the Eastfield Stanbrook area. Um, I would say that 95% of the people in this community are doing things the way that they're supposed to. What would you say? Yeah, Charlie? that sounds about right. So we're in another alley. There are some bags on the ground there. 
incorrect, but the people that do have their cans out for the most part, and they have strings on them, so uh, it seems to be working for people to, to keep track of their lids, uh, so then it'll get run over, disappear. Now we're in the alley of, on Calvinall Road, and the lids on this particular can are open. So that's a fine. Right across the alley, there's two bags sitting there. That will be a fine. There's a bag on top of this one that's wrong. So we're hitting about 50-50 on this right now in this particular alley. To the right, there's uh, two cans that are done right, and then there's two bags next to it. So that's incorrect. The uh, one right here is done correctly. And then we have another one that I can see already that That's is done, nice. done incorrectly right here. So that's drawing the rats and will cause a fine. So we're still about 50-50 in this, this alley here which was actually better than, than my community in Logan Village, which we're getting ready to head to next to see if things got any better since we did our last video two weeks ago. I did see rats in the neighborhood since then. We didn't see any rats on the uh, night that we went out in the alleyways, but I did see it in, on my front street. I saw two rats there within the last week. So they're not gone and maybe we're curing the problem in the backyards, but the front yards, if they're still there, then that means that the rats will come back if we don't, we don't get them all. So I would give the neighborhood of Eastfield Stanbrook an A plus because the majority of them have it done correctly and I would give a C plus to the people on Calvinall. They okay so we were just in this alley within the last two weeks and this person has their trash out improperly again so week after week then we go up to the next um, there there's another that was done correctly then we come back up to the house that had all kinds of bags all over the place and they still continue to just throw the trash all over the ground which it's still a buffet for the rats. So right now I'm thinking it's about 50-50 right now, but it's going down from there. See another trash can right up here. Doesn't have lids on it. These cans don't have lids on them. Yeah, a lot of these don't. So it's definitely under 50% right now. But there are, you know, it's, 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 it's it's a lot of cans that are done right so i want to want to praise the people that are doing it correctly on mcshane way and logan view drive uh, the rest of you is the amazing thing is i haven't seen a rat yet yeah yes we haven't seen a rat yet and we didn't see any rats the whole time that we were out and we were in a half a dozen alleyways here last well the week before last so that was done incorrectly So, what's your percentage on how many people have done it right in this in this alley so far? I'll, yeah. I'll say maybe twenty five percent. Twenty five percent. Yeah, okay. it was pretty low back there. That's that's what I was. Uh, that I said I thought it was under twenty percent um, last week. Not everybody has their cans out right now, or trash, I should say. Some people aren't worried about cans; they're just throwing bags out. So, so it could be a lot better. But there were quite a few. There were quite a few that had brand new cans and doing it just the way that it needs to be done. Then the next house 
no no lids oh well there's two lids on the ground and a bag sitting on top of the can to the left it doesn't look like that one has a lid it's a bag hanging out so that's logan view drive side um, on the side of uh McShane way someone got it right there they have a half a dozen cans out they so have bricks on all the all they have, lids they have lids and they have bricks on top of it then right down from that two metal cans no oh, lids yeah. no lid on that can bags all over the place here but the neighbor next door does have a correct so one neighbor is not doing what they need to do and then the neighbor two neighbors next door are so and, and that, that gets to people, whether or not they really want to say anything to their neighbors or not. Um, it really is frustrating if you're doing everything that you can to eliminate the rat problem, but your neighbors don't give a darn and aren't trying to help out. So um, well, well, let's go up this alley too. So now we're going to go the alleyway of McShane Way and Dunhaven Road. Two neighbors have cans that are good, but the one was split down the side. Uh, so there's three, four, five, five houses that have proper cans, six houses that have proper cans. But then this guy, they weren't, they the weren't ground. put, they weren't put, the, those cans weren't put out yet. But this person has put their trash out already, and it's all over the ground. And that's on the McShane Way side. Then the neighbor right here to the left. Um, has all the cans has three cans but still has overflow so i i would suggest just getting that other can before you get a 300 dollars fine you just don't want to have to put out that money it's cheaper to buy the can and eliminate the rats so okay now we have a neighbor out um let's uh get up there while we can see if uh this person well, would mind it's mind talking to us that's okay i'm gonna sit in the car how you doing so i'm wondering how you're doing with the rats here no, they, Okay, well, I see you got new cans. Um, yeah, I got new cans. I'm doing video right now about about the rat problem and everything. Yeah, I, see, I got brand new cans. I, I see that. And yeah, I just I so, had to get them because that, that one of the first ones I have had holes all the way in the bottom. Mm -hmm. and they chewed all the holes out in the bottom of the cans. The plastic ones I got rid of. Now let me ask. Um, since since they've done the extermination and everything, do you? We 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 were in this neighborhood two weeks ago. We didn't see any rats in the alleys at all. No, I haven't either. So 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 it's gotten better for you. Yeah, it's got better. Okay, you I haven't seen, seen them out there. Okay, now over here, I'm, I'm well, seeing I some out there. Well, one time, uh, not too long ago, I seen a rat run back and forth in that shit there. Uh huh. But you know, he come out and be in my trash can like at night. But that's that's when I had the plastic can. But after that, when I put the new cans there, he ain't been around since. Well, unfortunately, your neighbor across the street he needs another can. He's got uh, that lid all pop propped up, so uh, that will draw them back if they're. Oh, no, it will. Now, that's why I keep so. my lids on there at night. Yep, well, you have, you have your done properly, so... Yeah, um, I think about property work. Okay, well, thank you very much. I'm Frank. I'm Scott. Guys, meet you, Scott. Yep. Yeah, I, 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 I'd be me. I, I'd rather have new cans anyway. Well, we see yeah, our I first... new cans. We see I'll our first... Right. Steel. I'm living on two that. Two that. Well, thank you, Frank. I, I'll talk to you again soon. I'm, okay, let's sit, sit there and spotlight on them. So, with the, with the bags laying here on the ground, uh, we saw the first rat since we've been out um, in this neighborhood of Logan Village. So the rat was out just a minute ago. Feeding. Here he is. So that's all, that's all that it takes is you laying the bags on the ground, just a food source for, for the rats. And yeah, that- found something tasty, he's eating it. Then, then, then they breed, and the problem continues. So this is why the county is finding people, and this is why Dundalk TV is out sharing this information with everybody just to show what's going on in the community. The people that are doing it right are helping, and then the people that that or throwing their trash on the ground, you see what happens. The rats come out, you're feeding them, and the problem continues.